my lords, ladies and gentlemen, it's profile time. Sweet jeebers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to love this guy. It's a magnificent Mexican called Hugo Sanchez. Oh, oh, Hugo. That's his nickname. It is Hugo. 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 Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's not like a batter goal. Yeah, I am. Well, I've got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> a lucky goal. <laughs> no, don't work as well. <laughs> oh, hey. Probably... Uh, the greatest Mexican footballer to date. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By some distance. I'll go on record. <laughs> right. Well, we're all clear on this then. Uh, the former striker. What, oh, what a man. What a man. Uh, from a footballing family. His father was a centre forward, played semi pro. And his older brother uh, played for several Mexican clubs. In Laurie Gold. Sanchez. Laurie Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> um, that's right. So a bit of footballing pedigree in the Sanchez household. He used to watch his brother train with the Mexican amateur team when he was only 15. And he always used to ask to join in with the training. And he was constantly turned down. But eventually they let him play one day. Soon enough, he was in the team. <laughs> um, he was about 18. Oh, my goodness. I just realised I've been going long. I haven't told you that he was born on July the 11th, 1958. You're trying to catch me out? I am. Nine years before the summer of love? Correct. <laughs> I, I, know, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I do, I'm a bit excited by this one. I apologise. <laughs> I, I sincerely do. Um, so, 18, he started his, his football career, really. He got underway for, for, for Pumas in the Mexican League. Big team there. Uh, at the age of 19, he was playing for the Mexican national team in the 1978 World Cup in Argentina. Mm-hmm. They didn't fare very well though. No, no. Um, in 1979, a year later, he was the, the league's top scorer, won the league in 81. It was all going off for him. Mm. He was turning European heads. A good start. <laughs> An excellent mm. start. <laughs> Playing out in the Mexican league, the exotic Mexican league. Yeah. Don't know it. much about it, just the rest of the world bits on FIFA and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> a, bit like, a bit like the film Goal, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like that. Very athletic player. Yeah. Acrobatic. Was his sister not a g- professional gymnast? She was. Wasn't he? And that's why you had this celebration, isn't it? Correct. It yeah. was like a like every, every ninja, time he, though, wasn't it? He, <laughs> yeah. he scored a lot of really acrobatic goals. Oh, and he always did the somersault when he scored. Always. Yeah. He was doing that way before your Luar Luars. Yeah. And yeah. Your well, it wasn't Kings. as. It, yeah. No, but Luar Luar did like a bit of a, a flip and a. Yeah. What, We're not calling Robbie Keane's a somersault. <laughs> that's no, not no, a, that's a forward roll. roll. Yeah. It's a cartwheel. <laughs> that's yeah. a, a drunk going down some stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, an absolute bastard for a bicycle kick. Mm. Yeah, super. It's worth YouTubing that. Too. And a diving header. He loved a diving header. <sighs> it's, uh, th- there are some clips of him, though, <laughs> when the ball comes and he could just like knock it in, but he's like, you know, on his side trying to. Spectacular. He hits the ground. Yeah, yeah no, he it really seems like that. Yeah. <laughs> It would have He's been. like Spider-Man as well Gravity doesn't apply Indeed It does <laughs> <laughs> very, very much does Want to make that clear So universal constant Always applies <laughs> There you go um, Gravity libelers Soon enough though Luke The big European clubs We're getting interested in him Atletico Madrid Yeah Atletico Fitting <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah There you are Acrobatico Sporting <laughs> atletico in Amazing Madrid came along. He had a slow start to his to his. Kid. his, you his, his, his there you go. I'm getting involved. Yeah. Uh, his athlete um, career, but when he got going, he uh, soon enough won his first Pichichi Award as the Spanish league's top goal scorer, and he also won the Copa del Rey whilst playing for Atletico Madrid. But as soon as he became uh, the player he, he was, um, Real Madrid pinched him. Yeah, across town he went. Uh, he, as far as I know, you want to tell me in a minute? He scored a, a, a quite a lot of goals yeah. in, Madrid, <laughs> in not that many games. I would single out the eighty nine ninety season as probably the best of his career, Luke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go so, on, um, equaling the the all time Spanish league record of thirty eight goals that season. Not bad. Now, though. could Messi or Ronaldo beat that this season? But it what I'm be. saying is the rec- this, this I, man I for one hope not because, right. uh, because I like it when older players have got a, uh, got a record still no, yeah. I, no I, I would like to see Messi do it personally just because it, you were it there. cements a new player as yeah, being up point. there with the greats fair point mm. in that season he also won the golden shoe the European golden shoe he went on 
to win the Pichichi Award, Spanish League top goal scorer award, five times. That's loads. Earning him in, the nickname. In one season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was that good. How, many, how long was he at Real Madrid for? About eight years or something? Uh, I think it was seven. Seven years, right? Uh, about, was it, they should have made him wear the golden boot. The next season. <laughs> when he played. <laughs> yeah. That's what should happen. <laughs> yeah. They should happen. You win three. <laughs> they should wear golden boots. It wears you, you down. <laughs> you know, like so it's harder next season. <laughs> yeah, in the, Premier, class. in the Premier League, you have the old Premier League emblem on their sleeve. But if, yeah. you, if you're champion, it's gold. Isn't mm. it? Chelsea wants gold. Yeah. Yeah. You're top scorer. If you're top scorer the season before, you should have golden boots. Yeah. Yeah. No, you should have a Make golden, it happen. Yeah. Like the yellow jersey. Or, yeah. or the actual yeah. trophy. You, yeah. you wear the one metal, <laughs> well, golden boot. <laughs> they peel it it's off. It's really hindy. You. <laughs> you wouldn't want to win it, would you? You two have gone <laughs> You'd be too, missing penalties. You two have gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> My idea could actually work. Stop censoring me. <laughs> <laughs> Spray him gold. Oh. Um, <laughs> anyway. Make him drink gold schlager. <laughs> because he won it five times, Peter, what was his nickname? Uh, five Pichichi, times Pichichi, Henry. Uh, no, 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 I, I can guess this. Pich, uh, Pichichi Cinco? Penta Pachico. Oh, yeah. Uh, but enough. a good guess. Yeah, thanks. A worthy guess, I wouldn't say. Uh, he's the only player to have won the award four times in a row. <laughs> Even though he won it fifth, five times. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, he won it once with Athleta and then uh, four times, I think it was. Uh, with Madrid he also won the league I think it was five times in a row he won the league with Madrid incredible scenes mm. having a great time he scored over 200 goals um, for Madrid in about 283 games get on that <laughs> get on that climb aboard it and yeah. sail it home yeah. all of, all of <laughs> them are like superhero-esque goals I would imagine as well yeah, yeah. yeah. there's not a tap in he didn't score a single he didn't <laughs> score a simple one no way no way uh, he was named in Real Madrid's team of the 20th century alongside um, uh, Mile Butrogueno and Alfredo Stefano it's himself. a good front three. <laughs> <laughs> the front three. The vulture, the vulture in there as well. <laughs> That's right. Um, now he had a uh, all right international career. I mean, well, it was decent, but Mexico won um, quite a good side back then. Well, and also, he was always get, he was always um, surprisingly uh, piping up about the Mexican authorities and stuff. He was he? indeed. He and was an outspoken young man and, the, uh, and an outspoken old man. <laughs> <I don't think laughs> and at the peak of his at the peak of his powers, he was at, when he was at Real Madrid mm. um, World Cup ninety, which is obviously my, my favourite tournament. Mexico didn't qualify. No, they were suspended. Mm. Yeah, oh, was that, that's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Mm. They didn't make it through, and um, and that would have been. And I think I really. Do believe Sanchez would have set, set the world on fire? Yeah, yeah. He was well, that would have been his moment, mm. which is a, a great shame, of course, because as we said, the eighty nine ninety season, he was so good, mm. and going into the World Cup, real shame. Um, uh, but uh, in ninety seven, uh, he retired at the age of thirty nine. He went on to play for uh, a few other clubs, um, a couple of other clubs uh, in, in uh, Mexico and in Spain. He also had a season in Austria, uh, quite weirdly, for FC Linz. Uh, how many um, international caps did he get? He got. Uh, 50 oh was it uh, some some figures I think it was about 60 so around the 60 mark okay. um, scoring 29 goals that's not bad one and two yeah, right no. there or thereabouts that's right and he um, he retired in 97 at the, at the age of 39 as I said um, but he was given a send off match uh, in the Bernabeu for, for playing for Real Madrid that's nice uh, which they won 4-1 we he actually, got, we he actually got three <laughs> One of them being a bicycle kick. Oh, no, really? Yes. <laughs> we actually saw him when he was Mexico manager at Craven Cottage when Mexico played Ghana in a friendly. That's right, yeah. And they won. They beat Ghana 2 1. 2 1. Ghana went 1 up. Michael Essien? Yeah. 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 Uh, after playing, he's gone on to do pretty good stuff as a manager. Um, his old team, Pumas, he back to back titles uh, he led them to. Uh, also, he's managed the Mexican national team, as Luke said just then. Mm. And uh, he managed Almeria in La Liga, steering them to safety after they were looking like they were going to go down. Now, another thing that I didn't know is that Sanchez is actually credited as the creator of the Scorpion Kick. Really? Which, of course, René Higuita popularised. Mm. Now, well, I thought... It was I think Jamie had as much to do with it. Jamie yeah. Redknapp was yeah. involved too. Yeah. <laughs> Check the YouTube clip, ladies Credit and gentlemen. Oh, he really literally list. kicked it rude. <laughs> It kicked it rude. He always says rude. Yeah, okay. you can't say Richard now because Richard's not there. It's different. It's it hard. No, but it was in a rudimentary fashion. <laughs> that you kicked it. Um, so yeah, I, d I didn't know that about him. Um, well, Higuita's just stolen it, has he? Well, no, I think. Was it like a, a bad bicycle kick he did? Well, yeah, what forgot I, where he was. Forgot, where, have, forgot which way he was facing. In the dark. <laughs> but, but you could imagine, though, he was that um, acrobatic. He's like, I'm bored of scoring an overhead kick. What on earth can I do? But apparently he never... He, <laughs> he never, never scored one. No. Oh, imagine that. I mean, it's good <laughs> enough anyway. <laughs> scoring with one of them. <laughs> be, uh, you complete football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the game would be over. That's yeah, it. That's it. We've got to be given the World Cup to, yeah. to keep for yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um, And he was voted The best footballer Of North America And Central America Of the 20th century And he was voted 
the best footballer in all of North America and Central America for the 20th century by the IFF HS. It's a hundred years. And you can't mm. argue with them. Great and he's stuff. coming he, in to he, the Dean Windows Hall of Fame, Jake <laughs> I'll ask my question afterwards. <laughs> did he play in Nazel at any point? I think he did. He played for the Dallas Burn, I think. Yeah, I think he yeah, did. Yeah, Dallas, yeah. yeah.